Okay, in this video we are going to solve the really interesting Olympiad problem 7 to the power x plus 8 equal to 8 to the power x plus 7. Really interesting question and let's try to solve it step by step. So right here I write a solution to this problem and we're going to solve it step by step and together, yeah? First of all, what we need to know, a really interesting power rule. If we have 8 to the power m plus n, we can write it as 8 to the power m times a to the power n. This is the first step that we need to know because right here we have the sum in our power. So we need to know this rule, yeah? As a result, we'll have like seven to the x times seven to the eighth power equal to eight to the x times eight to the seventh power, yeah? Okay, right now, what are we going to do? I hope you understand this step. We apply just this, ru this rule to this, our left and our right hand side. Okay, right now we need to group our our powers, our uh, variables on the left hand side and our constant on the right hand side, okay? So what what we need to do? Let's try to divide both sides, let's divide both sides by 8 to the power x times 7 to the 8th power. Let's divide both sides by this expression. If we divide right here by 8 to the x times 7 to the 8th power and right here 8 to the x times 7 to the 8th power. So as you can see, from here we cancel 8 to the x and from here we cancel 7 to the 8th power. So this is really interesting and important step for us. As a result, on the left hand side we have 7 to the x over 8 to the x equal to 8 to the 7 over 7 to the 8th power. Okay, so I hope you understand this step. Really important and really interesting step right here. Okay, what we're going to do next? Let's group this in parentheses because we have the same power. So we can write it as 7 over 8 to the power x equal to 8 to the 7 over 7 to the 8. Yeah, so we just group this using power rule right here. We have different bases but same exponent. We can write it in this way. Right now, let's try to simplify this a little bit. What are we going to do with this? Let's take log on both sides. If we take log on the left hand side, so 7 over 8 to the power x equal to log from this expression, 8 to the 7 over 7 to the 8. Let's apply log on both sides. Yeah, and right now we need to know the main maybe log property right here, because if we have log m base of n, or just this expression, we bring this m right here. So m log log n, yeah? So, and now we bring this x right here, which is really great, because we right now we don't have, we don't need any power. We have like x times log 7 over 8, so from here, equal to log 8 to the power 7, so we, we still have the same 8 to the power 7 over 7 to the 8th power, yeah? Okay, so we hope you understand this. And right now, this is a constant, and this is a constant, yeah? So we don't need this constant near our x, because we need only our x, so let's divide both sides by this log 7 over 8. So as a result, in our numerator we have this expression, so log 8 to the power 7 over 7 to the power 8 and divided by this one, log 7 over 8, yeah? Let's try to find our exact value of this, of this question. So first of all, we need to know a really, really interesting properties, really interesting property right here. This one, if we have log x over y, we can write it as log x minus log minus log y, yeah? And if you apply this rule in our both cases, so right here we can easily write it as a subtraction and right here, so we will have like the next one. We will have like log in our numerator 8 to the power 7 minus log in our denominator 7 to the power 8 over log 7 minus log minus log 8, yeah? We can easily uh, write one more step because we can bring this 7 right here and 8 right here. So let's do this. We will have like 7 log 8 minus 8 log 7 and all over log 7 minus log minus log 8. Yeah, and if you're talking about approximately answer x approximately equal to 7.521. This is approximately answer to this problem. And this is our solution to this problem. I hope you understand this explanation. If you do, leave a like, write any comment. If you still have any question, write a question in the comment. I try to help everyone and write what problems 
do you want to see on my channel exponential equation trigonometrical really interesting higher math problem and i try to help everyone to improve your math skill thank you for watching see you in the next videos